Uh, hello and welcome to uh, Master of Dungeons. So, in today's vid we are going to be doing a Chaos Chariot. Um, which has got a vast array of uh, painting styles, techniques and different colours. So, I have separated out the, uh, what do you call it, the chariot for nice and ease. Obviously we have the base of the chariot. Which we're going to start with painting this lead belcher, the main body lead belcher, and the base here we're going to paint in uh, what you call it, right, uh, dry buck. We have the horses, which we will paint their armour, and then we also have the uh, rider, or the uh, chaos warriors, or whatever they are, um, on horse. Also, I have separated out, so these are the uh, ropes. Or, uh, uh, for the horses and these go onto the horses uh, like so and then there is also part of the uh, Chaos Warriors cape so we're going to paint all of this separately uh, initially I was going to start doing uh, what do you call it um, start doing lava but I am a big fan uh, I am sorry I'm largely going to be fighting against Ogre Moor tribes so I'm a big fan of doing snow so what we're first going to do is start doing painting this and we're going to cover it in correct white. So really we're just going to get a nice thin layer of paint and just start covering the whole base. And then once we do that, we'll move on. I'm going with the uh, with the base of the uh, chariot. I'm going to take some dry bark. Very similarly, just start dry brushing the base. So that's what I'm going to do first, and then I'll get back. Here we have the main body of the chariot, which I have obviously covered in the lid belt chart, and then on all of the gold and the uh, dundriad bark here, and then I've also done all of the gold in retribute armor. So what I'm going to do next is cover the entire thing uh, in Agrax Earth Tree, because then what we want is we want to start getting a, uh, a sort of like. Um, damaged brown uh, rusted effect so all we do is get a bit of that great exert shade on our brush and then just go over everywhere we'll do the entire thing because then we can use it for highlights later on We have too much pyridine, we can just take some from somewhere and put it elsewhere on the model. Uh, also, what I've started doing is on the horses, I've started to do silver as well, which will uh, great earth trade uh, afterwards and uh, do with gold as well. And I've started to do some on the uh, model as well. After we've done that, what I'll do is start doing the flesh tones and the straps as well. But we want to start doing the silver because silver is the uh, thing that doesn't get covered uh, the easiest. So, here is the all washed and ready to go. Uh, I've also done Zandri dust on the, uh, the bone here and on the skulls, which is, which is that? And do dust. Uh, next, what I'm going to do is I am going to do some right clone flesh shade on the uh, on the skulls and things, and then we'll start highlighting with Stormhost silver um, or the what's it all of the silver and a bit of or a gold on the gold. Uh, I'll do some blues on the on the feather on the banners up here and down here. The horses are following the exact same colour pattern as everything else. 
obviously we have our bone colours, we have our gold, um, I've done a bit of brown here, we're doing a blue of uh, all dove blue, all dove gobble on here, which we will do, uh, which I'm going to highlight the edges on the uh, on it with some cow gobble. I've also painted all of these, uh, the fur, in um, skin like dinge which I'm going to, once everything's all done, I'm going to no on oil the entire model, pretty much. Apart from the horns, which I will write in fresh flesh shade as well. So then we can go in, you know, we can, you know, do all of this darkened as well. With the, and I've done exactly the same with Chaos Warrior, which I'm also going to uh, no on oil. On the, Human or Whip Master, the Whipper. Um, the trousers are which, uh, just a layer of uh, Celestia Grey and uh, White Scar. The flesh, I've done a dry brush of Kate Air Bugman's Glow. And then Uncadian Flesh Tone with Right Clean Flesh Shade underneath as well. Which again, on all of this metal, I'm going to non oil it down here as well. And then on the black of this and all of the horses, uh, sorry, on the black of the uh, boots and on the horses, I'm going to start with Dark Reaper. And on the Warrior, I'm going to start with Eshin Grey. And we'll just sort of like start highlighting all of these edges. But as you can see, it's coming along quite nicely. Uh, this I've done exactly the same with the trousers. I just need to highlight them white. And then on his cloak, uh, his cloak has had uh, after the candle blue. I've just given it two layers of techless blue, and then I'm going to highlight it like I have done here on the edges with some temple guard blue. On the reverse side, what I've done is I've covered all of this in a white scar. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get some Cassandra yellow. And work that as a highlight. And then we're going to build up to an orange as well for the underside. So that's what's coming up. I'll see you soon. Right, so we are very nearly done. Um, the chariot. I've done uh, the skulls. Highlighted them with some shabby I've dry brushed over the entire um, what do you call the chariot with some Necron compound just to highlight all of this. <coughs> And I've painted those bits. Uh, next, I'm just going to do some blues on these, just for highlight. The cape, or cloak, is what I'm most happy with. So, I've just sort of done some dark shading here down with um, some non oil and highlighted it along the edges here uh, with Temple Guard Blue. On this side, on the underside, this is a blend of top I've done Troll Slayer Orange and towards the bottom I've done Evil Sun Scarlet and then what I've done is I've done like a three to three to one mix uh, in between to sort of like get that blend. So you like three parts of uh, what's it Troll Slayer Orange and one part of Evil Sun Scarlet and then you get this uh, what's it this really nice cool blend effect which let's see if I can uh, there we go. So as you can see it's like blended quite nicely in. And then I've highlighted along the edges on the red and on the uh, orange in Wild Rider Red and Fire Dragon Bright. The Chaos Warrior is 
almost completely done. I just need to start highlighting, uh, what should I do? Start highlighting his armor and things, which I'm going to start doing the edges with Eshin Grey. And then I have um, Storm Vermin Fur, which is what I've done here on this warrior here. This the whip lasher type guy. Um, and the horses are done. I've started highlighting, you know, along these edges with uh, Dark Reaper, and then next I'm going to do some highlighting edges of Thunderhawk Blue. But there we have it. The uh, it's pretty much done. Um, we are going to uh, then bring it all together, and um, it will be ready. And then it's just a case of working on the base. So I highlighted the edges on the uh, the horses. Um, Thunderhawk blue and Thunderhawk grey. Next, what I'm go I've also done similar on the uh, this bit on the warrior with Eshin. So now what we're going to do is just highlight the edges. And here we have it. The design. I'm going to tidy up the edges uh, on the base. But there we go. The uh, the blending on the ba on the uh, chair is looking excellent. So there it is. Nice and finished. There we are. Uh, I hope this is informative. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it has helped with your colour designs and ideas. Um, I am working on next. Getting Zombie Dragon, uh, which will finish off my uh, first army in like 20 years. Uh, I'm also built, currently building Arkin. Uh, so soon we'll have a video for him as well. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, hit me up with a like, hit me up with a sub, and I shall see you all soon.